In the mid-1800s, ran a railroad from Marietta to Cincinnati and passed through Vinton County in the now ghost town of Moonville. The town consisted of a schoolhouse, depot, cemetery, and the rail tunnel. The tunnel sat on the property of Henry Ferguson. There are four main ghosts associated with the Moonville Tunnel. The Engineer, the Lavender Lady, the Brake Man, and the Bully. Although they all have different stories, one thing remains. They still haunt the tunnel to this day. The Engineer was involved in a head-on collision when two trains, one headed eastbound and one westbound, ran into each other due to the dispatch malfunction. People claim they still see the Engineer's light walking through the tunnel to this day. The Lavender Lady was walking along the rail one day looking for her husband when she didn't hear the train. It is said she was wearing lavender perfume and that folks can still smell her scent. One night, the brake man had a little too much to drink and fell asleep on the tracks. He didn't get up in enough time to move out of the way. The bully, known for picking on those smaller than him, was murdered one night along the tracks. People claim that his angry ghost continues to throw pebbles off the top of the tunnel to this day. Cole, Jack, Andrew, and I took a trip out to the tunnel to see what we could uncover. What we discovered was a massive tunnel with its mini quirks. So we are out here at the Moonville Tunnel and we're going to demonstrate to you how well you can hear voices at the other end of this tunnel. So we have Jack Beeler at the other end and I'm going to communicate with Jack at a normal talking voice, the same voice, the same level that I'm talking at, he's going to talk back at. Hey Jack, how are you doing? Hey, I'm good, Cole. I'm talking like I'm in the middle of a room right now, like in a small office, and clearly I'm 50 feet away from you, so. This tunnel, it's gotta be at least 50 feet. It is far away. I, yeah, I'd say it's probably about a football field long. And Jack, say something again in your normal voice. And that's how far the voices carry here at the Moonville Tunnel.